Hey everybody! Well today we're going to take a look at this awesome King Kong figure. Now this figure is by NECA and I found this at Target and I saw this about two months ago and I was going to buy it and I totally forgot about it and then I was there the other day and I saw it again and I was like oh yeah I wanted to get this so uh, this is a really nice figure. I'm actually pretty impressed with NECA figures. I've bought a few figures by them. Uh, Godzilla, a couple of Godzillas and even um, uh, Bob Ross, <laughs> which was surprisingly really well done as well. Now I think they have three or four versions of these figures of King Kong and I'm not sure what the differences are. I was kind of looking at the boxes and the figures when I was at the store. Um, the couple of them look like they're the exact same, but they're just painted differently. They have different paint applications uh, and one looked like it may have had a, a different uh, face sculpt. I'm not sure. But what's cool about these also is that they do have the window box and here you can see the figure on the inside right there. And the detail on it is really, really good. Uh, the way that NECA has been coming out with these is amazing. And then here is the box art here on the lid. You can kind of see the, uh, the building that he's on. I do wish it came with this building though. That's one thing. It doesn't come with this building top and that would be really cool. The uh, Empire State Building. That would be really awesome if it came with that. But it does come with a bunch of other stuff, which is why I bought this particular one, because the other ones didn't seem like they came with as many of the um, accessories as, as this one does. So here's some different pictures here. All right, well, let's uh, get it out of the box and see what he looks like. All right, so once we get everything out of the box, we have quite a bit of stuff in here, which is pretty cool. So, of course, we have Kong himself, and we'll take a closer look at him here in just a minute. But you can see his detail looks really good. Now they also provide an alternate head right here and they also have two uh, different hands. So we have one that's kind of in a closed position, one that's in a wide open position. And then we also have the uh, handcuffs, which is really cool. I absolutely love those, the uh, chains. And I think the best part of this whole thing is you get the biplane and man, that's really cool. That in itself was worth it. And we'll take a closer look at that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Kong the figure. Okay, so looking at King Kong himself now, um, oh yeah, the detail on him is fantastic. Now you can really see all the uh, fur, all the markings on his fur here, the arms. He's got complete articulation, I mean all kinds of articulation, and the detail is done really well. Even on the chest here you can see he's got some uh, blood marks, and on his face you can see he's got some blood marks as well. Right there, he's even got a little bit of a gash on his head. Those eyes, let me see if I can get the light in there just right. And we can get a better look at those eyes. Look at that. Those eyes look really, really good. And they look like they're made of glass or something. I mean, they actually look like they're, they're not just painted on. And they have a really nice realistic look. I mean, that's just fantastic. On the back here, we can see more detail. You can kind of see where the articulation is going to be, but they did a great job on all of his fur. There's the way his legs look. The feet are also uh, really well done here. And on the bottom, they have the little holes for the stands, which um, I will say that I have not had much luck with these stands when it comes to the NECA stands. They're those clear round ones, and they just, they're not very uh, steady or sturdy. And it doesn't seem like the figure stays in the holes very well. The, the pegs don't stay on the holes very good. I would think on these feet it would be even worse because his toes stick out a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at some of his articulation. Starting with the head here now, we have some, you can see the uh, little seam right there. So that's where the head can turn side to side. Uh, it doesn't have that much up and down. There's a little, there's a little bit right here but not a lot. And then as you saw right there, his mouth can open and close. I love that. That is a really cool feature. And look inside that mouth. You can see all kinds of really excellent detail. The tongue, the teeth are painted really nicely. And it makes it look like there's, you know, like saliva in there because it's all wet. It looks really, really good. Yeah, I, I love that. And then uh, I don't think the alternate head has a moving jaw like that. Um, here's the arms, and you can actually move the shoulders like that, and I don't know if they move out. Well, they, they do a little bit. Um, you know, everything's really stiff, and I don't want to, I'm not sure how far I can push it. I don't want to break anything. 
Now here you can see these little joints in here, and um, it looks like maybe this. Uh, no, that doesn't really move that much. But here you can you can actually uh, close his arm like that, and you'll feel it click. And then that other that other joint right in there will allow you to even make his arm go even further up like that. So both of them are designed that way. And boy, they really are stiff. You have to kind of work with this here. But yeah, and what else is really cool about this is normally on a, an elbow piece like this, you would end up seeing um, ball joints or something in there, but they don't do that with this. It's actually covered very nicely. I mean, you do see it on the front, but uh, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't, you know, have those shown. Uh, let me see, does it, do these turn? Um, well, this turns a little bit here. The hands also are turnable. And those are interchangeable, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Now, here is the uh, section here where the torso can uh, bend a little bit. And you can turn them a little bit as well. So he does have some turning ability. And then the leg section here, now this is pretty, pretty good as well. They have a, the thighs can move quite a bit. And you can bend them forward quite a bit too. And I think it's because this, this is like a soft plastic or rubber material. And so it allows for that to... Uh, give a little bit. The knees are kind of the same situation when it comes to the ball joints where you can click it that way and then you click it one more time this way and so now you can get his legs pretty far up and then once again you don't see the joints on the front which looks really good. Looks like there's almost a face right there it's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but anyway yeah um, so the articulation on this is really well done. Um, the feet have uh, a little bit. I mean, you can turn it a little bit. It looks like there's supposed to be a hinge in there, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling any kind of uh, movement that much. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really seeing too much there. But, uh, but yeah, the articulation is really well done. Here's the back side. And, you know, same with this back here. If you were to move his legs further back, see how that gives right there? So that also is really good, how they figured out how to do his fur. Very nice. Okay, let's try out the other head. Now, it's a bit of a struggle to get the head off. You, I already loosened it, but it just pops off, and there's a ball joint. You can see the socket right in there, and there's the little ball joint right there. And then here's the alternate head. Get a good close-up. Look at that. That looks so good. It's got a much meaner look to him. And this goes on the same way. Now, um, this is probably going to cause a lot of issues with camera shaking. So let me snap this on, and I'll show you what it looks like. And here he is with the alternate head. I'm not sure I got it on there all the way, because you can see I think I have to snap it even harder. But, man, this is really hard to snap it on. You may have to use the old blow dryer trick to uh, get that to go down. But I really love this face. I mean, look at that. That is, <laughs> that is a face... Only a mother could love, let me tell you. <laughs> but it looks really awesome. I love it. He looks much, much meaner right there. You can see he's got a lot uh, more scarring and bleeding. Look at that on the side there. Really has a lot. His teeth are really well done. Look at the paint job that they did on that. There's some more bleeding on that side. Looks really good. I can't really decide which face I want to use. They both look so good. I think I like the other one only because it's got a, a movable mouth. I do wish this one had a movable mouth. It doesn't. It's in a fixed position, but that expression is great. All right, let me show you the hands. Going back to the head for just a second, I will say that the original head that's on there goes on way easier than the other one, but that's probably because he was packaged with that one and the plastic is probably stretched out a little bit on the, uh, you know, the ball socket section over here on the inside. But I put the original head back on. So now these hands, they just pull right out, and they're also, you know, you're going to have to fight with those a little bit. He comes with the closed fist, and then this is the one that's kind of more of an open hand right here. So you just pull them straight out, and then you have to really push hard until you hear a click. But, uh, you know, these are really hard to pull in and out of here, I'll tell you. But that hand looks really good, too. All right, and he's got one more hand, too. And here is the third version of the hand, so it's a completely open one which also looks really good, both the outside and the inside. You can see the detail really well. I'm not sure I like this hand, though. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird position for him to have his hand. I mean, if you turn it this way, 
and you bend his arm up, it almost looks like he's performing a, an opera. La! <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put his other hands back on. To be or not to be, that is the question. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Okay, so uh, now I wanna show you these really cool chains that you can put on his wrist. Now these will not slip over his hands. You are going to have to pull the hands off to get these on, but they look really good as you can see here. And these chains are actually, they're actually metal which is really nice. And um, the cuffs themselves look like they're metal too, just because of the metal of the chains. But you can see they look really good on his wrist right there. So I think I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to display him and I have a plan on how I'm going to display him. And then that will be in a future video, which I will show you. And uh, I'll show you what I end up doing with that. But I do want to have these on him. So that'll be kind of cool. But uh, it'll be based on the box art. So there's a little hint for you. But yeah, this is really cool. All right, let's take a look at the airplane. Now, I have to say that the plane was the selling point for me on this particular King Kong figure, just because this is a really cool accessory to have. Now, you can see it's a really cool biplane. The detail is really well done. You can actually see the pilots right in there. He's actually wearing goggles and a machine gun there. You can actually see the one that's actually flying the plane. The detail on the side of the uh, plane also looks really good. You can see the engine vent kind of things going on here. The wheels don't turn for the landing gear, but they do look really good. There's the bottom detail of it. There's a back wheel as well for the uh, landing and the back tail. Uh, you can see the, these are kind of thin. I got to say these are really thin, so you're going to have to be very, very careful with these so you don't accidentally snap them. And I think the coolest thing is this. Look at that. That propeller looks awesome. And, and you can spin it. It's not very loose, but it does look really good. The way they painted that, it does make it look like the propeller is spinning very fast. And uh, yeah, that, that was a great effect right there. So uh, now I think you can have Kong hold the plane. And I, from what I can see, it looks like the only place you're going to be able to have him grip it is right here. But that hand, let's see, which one is it? Uh, well, I have him on, on Kong right now, but um, I'm going to have to see if I can get his hand wrapped around this. I'll probably have to use a blow dryer to heat it up because there is no way you're going to get that hand around there unless you soften up the plastic. But uh, let's try it and see what it looks like. So I went back and watched some of the original special effects from the 1933 movie. And um, it doesn't really show Kong holding the plane. You know, he does catch one and he kind of grabs it by the wing. Uh, but I'm not going to, I've decided I'm not going to really put this in his hands because uh, it is really a fragile model and I don't want to break anything on it and trying to squeeze that back part of the fuselage into his little semi open hand is just not worth it uh, at least for the risk of it and besides that I plan on making a, a, a little miniature diorama for this I'm gonna try to um, make the top of the Empire State Building like they show on the box art it's not gonna look exactly like that building but um, I have found some pieces that I think I can use and I'm gonna do a separate video on that but um, anyway, <laughs> this thing is really cool. I do love this figure, it's great. Um, as I mentioned, there's, a, I think, three other versions of this out there based on different movies. This is based on the original 1933 movie, but I think it comes with the most stuff. I mean, you can see here he comes with the, the cuffs for his arms. Uh, the other ones come with alternate hands as well, but I don't know if it, they all come with an alternate face. That face is awesome. And the plane, that was the biggest part for me. It's really cool that it comes with that. So this was um, 30, let's see, how much did I pay for this? 32 or $33. I found it at Target, which is a really good price because for this kind of detail, um, this is something that you would expect from Sideshow Collectibles or Hot Toys, and then they would probably charge you like, you know, $100 for something like this or even more. And here it is for 32 or 33 by NECA, and I think the quality is fantastic. So it just goes to show you that you can, these companies can make a high quality figure that looks really detailed and is painted really well without charging a fortune for it. And in this case, it was definitely worth the money and I think it looks great. So uh, yeah, if you're a King Kong fan or at least you know you love the kind of horror genre or special effects of it, and I do love the original special effects of stop motion. And what I really love is if you watch closely, you can see uh, Kong's fur, the different parts of his body, the fur just kind of moves by itself. And that's because the animators, every time they touched him, they would ruffle his fur up a little bit and when they did each stop motion picture, it would show up where they moved his fur. So uh, 
If you didn't know about that, uh, check it out. It's pretty interesting. But anyway, I think it's kind of cool. But yeah, this is a great figure. If you're interested in getting it, Target is the place to get it. Uh, I don't know if, who else is selling it. Probably Amazon or whatever. But I thought it was pretty cool. And for the price, I think you get quite a bit of cool stuff here. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you liked it, please give it a like. Also subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. And thanks again. And have a good one.